we just have a project with zero acceleration and a little bit of a jump but let's add the acceleration so into the player code this is all i have it has the couple of variables for gravity jump speed the motion we have just basic input and just a little bit of animation for the walking and a jump that's it but if you do want to get all this code right here and basically go and explain it if you are new there is a video that will be linked in the description or the pinned comment down below and you can go and click on that video it teaches you basic smooth player movement but for acceleration we're going to take this exact code and we are going to add another variable i'm going to make this a constant and this is going to be our acceleration i'm just going to put acc for acceleration and we can equal this to We'll do one so I can kind of show you what it looks like and show you the output, how we go up and then max out. And then when we stop, we go back down and it is going to be a very, very quick video because that's what we do on this channel. We make quick, easy and simple tutorials. So if you are into stuff like that, make sure you do go and hit that subscribe button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. So now where we input to go right, which is if input dot is action pressed UI right. We're going to want to change the motion.x to be motion.x equals the minimum, which is going to pick the lowest value in the list that we are about to make. And the list is going to be motion.x plus acceleration. So if motion.x plus acceleration is lower than our max speed, then it's going to choose that over the max speed. But as soon as this gets above our max speed, which our max speed is 50. So as soon as this gets to 51, it's going to be choosing the max speed instead of the gaining. Motion.x plus acceleration will always be going up as you hold it. So it could be at the thousands, two thousands, three thousands, but it's only going to show your player moving at your speed because it's above. But if it's under the speed, it's gonna be gradually gaining. And let's see if you can guess what you put for input dot is action pressed UI left. It's, here's a hint, it's gonna be motion.x, motion.x equals, and what do you think is going to go here? It will be max. So max will go here instead of min. It's the opposite, so we're going to be going into the negatives. So if it's negative four, it's gonna choose that over our speed, which is negative 50. If that makes any sense at all, just if it doesn't, let me know in the comments and I can try and explain it in a better way. But we have motion.x minus acceleration because we want to be going into the negatives and we want our max speed to be our negative speed, which is negative 50. So it's going to choose the greater number. And then at the else, we want to just do motion.x is going to equal lerp motion.x and we want zero and we can go with uh we'll go with 0.2 now after that that is all you're going to need for the code we can go and run the program and we can see our character as you can see it kind of gains it does gain you can start it starts off slow and it also halts to a stop but i do want to show you that this is going up so we can do print motion dot motion dot x here we'll just print the variable motion dot x there and we'll print it right before we go left and this is going to allow us to kind of see it in game so as we can see the player as we go left you can see it go all the way up and it stops at 50 and if we go right you can see it gain all the way up to 50 and then it stops that's the max we can go if we go left it's going to be in the negatives and if we go right it's going to be in the positives and that is pretty cool and if we're at let's see negative 50 it's going to have to go all the way back to stop our momentum of going left and stop it just so we can go right and i think this is very good for platformers because it is a very smooth and nice movement for the game. If this video did help, please go and hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. It would greatly help me out and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy. If you do need anything else for Go Dot, let me know in the comments down below and I will get right back to you within 24 hours. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Peace.